Okay, what I'm looking to show you here today is how to tie a stationary bowline in a rope. This is the end of our rope right here. We've got to have the end close by. Make our loop, our classic loop in a rope. You can see it just comes around and over top of the rope in the back. A lot of guys like to call this the rabbit head. Okay, so what we do is take the end of our rope, come up underneath the rabbit's head. And you'll go up through. You'll take it around the back side from right to left, behind what like guys like to call the rabbit's ears, behind this rope. Once you go behind that rope, you'll come back down through the rabbit's head. And just pull your two ends tight, like that. What you have is the classic bowling look, okay? We'll untie it, we'll go over it one more time. So you got your rope right here. I like to just do a little twist here. And I have my loop. As you can see, my rope comes around. Tail goes over top of my rope, this back rope. Take my tail, you come up through the rabbit's ear, or the rabbit's head, around the back side from right to left of the rabbit's ear and then back down, back down through his head. And I just pull, I grab these two ropes here and the top rope, and I just pull everything tight. Got your classic bowling. Also, what I'm gonna show you here today is a lot of guys like to tie a rope around a pole. A lot of them like to use a bowling, but uh, when you go around a pole, you're tying your bowling upside down. So a lot of guys will get confused. Um, so I'll show you how I do it how I've showed a bunch of guys do it in the field. Take your rope around from right to left behind the pole and I'll come out here to do it closer to the camera. I'll take my my rope here and I'll go over the top. Okay so now my tail is over here on the right side. What I'll do is I'll just wrap it up underneath like this. It'll look like a cinch knot like I'm going to cinch it all the way up to the tree. I'll take my right hand and my left hand and I'll just I'll have these two ends together and I'll just flip them like this and what happens here is you create this loop in your rope what is that loop well that's the rabbit's head okay but he's looking at you upside down this is his ear right here hanging down so what you'll do is you'll just take this rope our tail you'll go underneath it's important that you go underneath this rope his rabbit ear and you go back up through and right through the loop, which is the rabbit's head. Pull it tight, and that's it. That's your bowling. We'll do it one more time for you. This is a knot that a lot of guys like to use. Like I said, we'll go around the pole from the right to the left. You'll have your tail right here on the left side. Go over our rope, wrap it around. Looks like it's going to be a cinch knot. Basically, I'm just trading my the ropes from right hand to left hand. <coughs> As I twist, I just made this loop. Here's the rabbit ear hanging down. Okay, here's my tail. All I'm going to do is take the tail and go behind this rope. You got to go behind it. Go behind this rope and then just take your end and just go right up through the rabbit's head and pull it tight. And that's your bowling. 